Hi everyone, today it's Saturday, August 23rd, 2014. Uh, I just finished picking some of my uh, tomatoes and uh, this one's a little green. It dropped on the ground, so I just picked them up. Uh, let's pick up some, pick some tomatoes, some cherry tomato, and some Thai chilies and other stuff. But today I want to show you guys my other patch of Ong Choi, uh, Asian water spinach. and. If you've been watching my video, I post probably six, seven video on on this vegetable. Uh, it seemed to be very popular uh, vegetable in uh, in Asian cuisine, especially in Vietnamese and Chinese and Thai, Cambodia. And I also grown this in the container. So in other video, you saw my uh, video with the container. But today, uh, I want to talk about this this bunched here that I plant on, on the ground. So Asian uh, water spinach or ung choy, uh, it's a semi-aquatic, they do need a lot of moisture. And when the very hot, hot summer season now, uh, the temperature can reach 97 degree, 96 degrees, 97 degrees, some place triple digit. So in order to grow them successfully in the ground, uh, you do have to do several things. One is that uh, I, I amend the soil, adding a lot of coconut fibers, uh, some peat moss, perlite for drainage, and plenty of compost on top to to help blanket the soil, so to keep the moisture in the soil. Now during this hot season, you do have to water them at least once a day, and I do that once a day. Uh, but what you can see, what you can tell here from the, uh, hopefully my camera can pick this up, it's that the, the, the soil is very rich and dark and black uh, and it's kind of moist. And recall my other video on the Ong Choi with the wrinkle of leaves because it didn't get enough moisture. Uh, but this here is just gorgeous. They, they over 12 inches tall now and they've been sprouting out all over the place and you can see here, look at this. I mean, there's only one single plant, right? And now it's become an entire clump of maybe 12 or so and so. So I have roughly about 12 plants here originally, but now each plant, look at this, they sprout out. Amazing. They're about 12 inches to 14 inches uh, tall now, and the size of the stem it, it's quite beautiful. It's about the size of a number two lead pencil, and that is perfect, perfect uh, size. Now, so now I can actually harvest this. The, the leaves, the foliage, it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful lush green and as you can see here like I say I only have about maybe a dozen plants here but remember they they grow like grass they send out a lot of shoots on the bottom which keep coming up look at this and they gorgeous look at that and look at this tender beautiful tender very soft very delicate uh, choy. now they're still standing upright but eventually if they grow a little taller, they will lean over, uh, kind of like a vine. And when they're growing in, in lake and stream, uh, so they tend to float. So that's not a problem for them. But, but however, when you grow them in the, in the soil, when the wind you know, picks up and when they get too tall, then they might, you know, they get knocked over. So Ong Choi, again, uh, do need a, a lot of moisture. Look at so such beautiful, beautiful stem here. Uh, and then do amend soil uh, for retention of the, uh, the, the moisture and during this hot season uh, you do have to water them regularly. Okay, so this is just a really uh, quick overview and update on the uh, Ong Choi. I know as I've been posting a plan of video on Ong Choi and uh, hopefully you'll get some good information out of this. And like I say, keep it a try. This is an excellent uh, green for the summer, and they grow throughout the summer uh, as long as the temperature permits them to do so. But once you get to the winter, uh, when it gets too cold, then they'll probably die down. And then eventually, eventually at the end of the summer, they will probably produce flowers and, and seeds. So for right now, they are perfectly in perfect condition. They don't, they don't produce seeds yet uh, until the vine grows very long, you know, six feet to 12 feet even longer well uh, thank you for tuning in and watching this video and if you like my video uh, please post a comment 
and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to continue to update you guys uh, on other vegetables. And thank you for watching.